we're the All 49ers crew. It's Grant Cohn, Jack Hammer, Maverick Pollock, and Leo Luna. We don't have Jose today because he's doing something, but we'll catch him next time. The first game is next Sunday or the following Sunday, however you want to call it. There's a lot to talk about. The Niners are already making cuts. They're going to have their final cuts Saturday at 1 o'clock. So we're going to talk about those kind of things today. I got eight topics, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. All right, first question I'm posing to the group. Who is the 49ers backup Nickelback? And I ask this because they just released Jamar Taylor and DJ Reed is on the Seahawks. Leo, why don't you start us off? So I'm going to go with Jason Verrett. I know they've been working him some in the slot, and he's obviously going to – he lost that job to Emmanuel Mosley. The team may have not announced it yet, but there's no way you start Jason Brett over Emmanuel Mosley at the right corner spot. So where Jason Brett's going to fit in next is basing – the writing on the wall is that they want to run a little more man, and Jason Brett could do that, and he could do that from the slot. Um, so that's who I think is going to be the backup nickel. You cannot put Jimmy Ward with his injury history and his build. You, you want to keep him away from the slot unless it's in dime packages. Then, yeah, sure. You know, you run dime packages at most maybe four to five times a game, so that's not going to hurt you too much. But it, to put Jimmy Ward, say, if K-1 can't play in the slot for the full game, that's something you don't want to do. So I'm going to have to say that it's going to be Jason Brett. Good choice. What do you think, Maverick? I think it can be a combination of a couple. If they are doing zone defense like they did a lot last year, it could just be three safeties. They could just, uh, if they like Jonathan Cyprian or Tarverius Moore in there and go with a, a more zone approach. But if they're going man on nickel, I think they could also go Verrett on the outside and Emmanuel Mosley in the slot. That's clever. And they did do some of that in camp. So I like that answer. Jack, what do you think? I think it's going to be Jimmy Ward. Uh, mm. War, War, War to go down into the slot with more playing free safety at that point. That's what kind of goes back into the topic we talked about last week with, with more. Uh, I think it works out well for him that way. I think that's, that's probably the most likely. And they did a lot of that in camp and, and they did it last year. It was usually in dime, but they can do it this year in nickel if need be. I'm going to go with a, an answer out of left field. And you would only say this if you saw camp and I'm probably overanalyzing things, but the undrafted rookie, Jared Maiden, from Alabama, I thought was terrific. I, he intercepted a few passes. He played nickel a lot with the second team. And the reason I'm picking him is I think he's going to make the team. I think he's going to be the one undrafted guy who makes the team. I could be wrong, but it's like between him and Tim Harris Jr., who was a draft pick, but I don't think he showed anything this year. Jared Maiden had a couple of picks. He plays safety. He plays nickel. He could play special teams. He's um, versatile in the way that DJ Reed is. I don't think you can just be a pure backup nickel who can't play safety or outside corner or return kicks and punts. I think you need some versatility. So I'm going to choose the wrong answer, which is Jared Maiden. I'm going with Jared Maiden, guys. All Sounds right. like the right answer. You can miss me a little bit on that. <laughs> he was pretty good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the one uh, undrafted guy who makes it. But this year, the, the Niners may feel like, well, no one's seen him in a preseason game. Right. We can cut him and put him on the practice squad even though he – if we had exposed him to the preseason, everyone would see that he's actually a pretty good player. So they might get cute, but I think he's earned it. So we'll see. 